from water scarcity and drought. The dramatic water loss is exposing a vast terrain of brown hills and valleys that used to be submerged. California's drought is changing our landscape. To fuel shortages. With the polar vortex plunging so much of the nation into the deep freeze so early this year, there's a shortage of propane gas in the Midwest and Northeast. In rural areas beyond the reach of utilities, it's used to heat about 7 million homes and businesses. And the diminishing availability of minerals. Orders are flooding in as road salt supplies dwindle around the country. Shortages that even led Connecticut's governor to declare a state of emergency. Natural resources are in danger of disappearing. Natural resources are raw materials that come from nature, like plants, water, and natural gas. Humans need natural resources to survive. Natural resources are also used in the manufacturing of goods and services that support the economy and industry around the world. Natural resources are critical in the creation of things like mobile phones, medicines, and hydroelectricity. There's not an infinite supply of natural resources. It is possible to run out of them if they're not conserved or replenished. And if there is a shortage of one natural resource, it can have a negative impact on the environment. Take the loss of hundreds of millions of ponderosa, lodgepole, and other pine trees in the American West due to a tiny insect called the mountain pine beetle, a species of bark beetle that tunnels into the bark to lay its eggs. Roughly 90% of the lodgepole pine in the state of Colorado has been killed by the bark beetle. So we're talking about four and a half million acres of trees. The loss of trees hasn't just changed the landscape, it has changed the quantity and quality of the water supply to the region. Right now in the state of Colorado, about two and a half million people are affected. Their drinking water can potentially be affected by the pine beetle epidemic. Through a process called transpiration, healthy pine trees draw groundwater into their roots and leaves and release it into the atmosphere. However, dead pine trees can't transpire, leaving more water in the ground to eventually run off. Dead trees also have no pine needles. We get a deeper snowpack because there's less tree, less foliage to intercept it. And we have that snowpack melting off more quickly because there's less shading. When the pine needles that make it to the ground decompose, it leads to higher levels of organic carbon, which affect the quality of drinking water. It's always needles that drop onto the ground and decompose, but we see a much greater amount of litter and tree fall and stem fall and then eventually trees that fall over. So we see a big change in the carbon balance. Another example of natural resource depletion appears in California, where a severe drought has had an impact on one of the state's biggest industries, agriculture. Tulare County is the fruit, nut, and dairy basket of the nation. And for the first time in a century, there was no surface water, that's to say water from mountains, rivers, or lakes, to deliver to farmers. We are totally reliant right now on whatever flows underneath our feet. The lack of water in the state's reservoirs, mountains, and lakes means that more wells need to be drilled to help farmers irrigate their crops. But there's only so much groundwater to go around. Agriculture loses that scarce, precious resource to grow agricultural crops. It's not just an impact to the farmer, it's an impact to this entire part of California. Since natural resources are limited, it's critical to preserve and protect them. You can help by reducing, reusing, and recycling around your home. For water conservation, you can take shorter showers and turn off the faucet while brushing your teeth. Reuse or recycle plastics, metals, and other materials. To reduce energy consumption, consider taking public transportation, riding your bike, or walking. Every step you take will help slow the depletion of natural resources.